Folks, right behind me you see the Damon. We're gonna take a look at this property. So right from the front, I'm gonna take a look at it. Now this is the uh, Zenith Point by Richmond American Homes. We're out here way northwest. You take a left off of Lamb, about 10 minutes off of Lamb, going west, and this is a brand new community over here. You're gonna have the Damon, which we're gonna look at right now, and that's 2220 square feet, 532,950 to start. It's an RV, ultra RV garage, and this is different, right? Four different styles of homes to look at. The other comparison would be the Deacon, and um, you're looking at all one-story homes. So, brand new community, Richmond American. We have some things to talk about with the HOA. There's a $49 HOA fee involved here. Uh, no SID, SID fees. There's no gate, uh, parking. There's no park here for a park that I can see. Now the lot that you're seeing behind us, it's gonna start off, uh, the lot premiums, the, depending on elevation, you're gonna have two different elevations, which is 12,500 to 25,000 is gonna be the lot premium cost. Um, earnest money deposit is gonna be 5% of base price and that could go directly to the home gallery on your options that you choose. And they have about 40 homes to choose of right now, and they, I think they have eight that they've sold. Lot size is gonna be 6,900 to 7,900. And uh, if you get a spec home, it's about five to six months out. If you're going from dirt, it's six to eight months out. So there is a solar option here for $25,000 if you wanna add that. We need to know what the kilowatts would be on that. and. Um, you do have some setups in the back. A lot of what we see on the house is not gonna come exactly what we see on this video. So we're gonna take a tour. Let's take a look at the front and then we'll go from there. You guys tell me what your thoughts are. Again, like the channel, subscribe, Proppy Land, LV Crib Tours. All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Dan French. We're gonna look at uh, the Damon here. Richmond American Homes, ultra RV parking, one story home. You can see out there, that's the Las Vegas Strip and uh, doing a lot of building out here. So really like what, what I'm seeing here out here, about 30 minutes uh, north of Las Vegas, the Las Vegas Strip, um, the main part of Las Vegas, not downtown. But you can see here's a beautiful RV ultra garage with a two bay garage right next to it. You got the stone cladding, the pavers in the front come with the house and you can get two different elevations. I love the color of the stones here. You can also get that adjustment as far as how it looks in the front with the stones. Coming over here to the right, you have your electrical panel. We're not gonna open that up. Looks like somebody was trying to mess with it anyways. We'll leave that alone. And then coming over here, I just wanted to say that you look at this and you have almost, a, you have a mini split here for the RV garage right here it looks like. And then you have your door to walk in to the RV garage. So this looks like a mini split set up here. So let's go to the front. Going back here, this is the Damon. And I, I think it's gonna be a very popular model that people are gonna buy into. So heading over to the front of the house here, three bedroom, two bath home, 2220 square feet as you can see right there. And walking into this house, you can see that this is about an eight foot door, really nice door. And the ceilings you're gonna get, it's gonna go up to 10 feet and that's an upgrade cost to do that. I think it opens up the house as we're walking in here, you're gonna see what I see. I think it opens up the house tremendously. You can see those huge 10 foot ceilings. Again, three bedroom, two bath home. And you do get an option for a fourth bedroom if you want to. So that's definitely on, on the table. But you know, to get the 10 foot upgraded on this house, that's gonna be about $11,000 to get that upgrade. Now, if you're gonna, also you can get an upgrade on a super shower, we'll look at that. There, they, this does have a super shower in here and that's gonna be an $11,000 cost as well. So this is the first room and this is where you can see outside. This is where we just walked into. Huge ceilings. I'm gonna say this room, it's got a medium pad on the carpet. It's gonna be about 12 by 12. So it's not a small room. You can see these huge closet doors going up to eight feet. You can see the, diff the difference right there. So if you go to the top right there, you can see an extra two feet right there. And they made this into like a Formula One style, I guess. You know, Formula One's coming in November, so this is kind of cool. That's what they made this uh, room about. But looking at it, LED lighting, can lighting, the top. Looks like you have four of those. So it's a four pack there. 
So going back over here, here's the first bathroom. They got tile throughout. Looks like, you know, the tile is really, really beautiful. 12 by 24 staggered. So you can see if you look at the entry layer. Okay, so we just saw bedroom number one, which is like that Formula One look to it. You got your bathroom here and then you have your other bedroom. So they're really real close right to the left when you walk in from the entryway. And so this is a four pack LED lighting. It really brightens up. It already has the hookup for the fan, which you could see. Medium pad, 12 by 12 room with eight foot closet slider doors. And you can see that right here. So these are, it's really nice how they have it set up. There's actually shelving in there as well. So going back out here, let's go to the bathroom that they would share. Again, undermounted sink, quartz countertop, just beautiful setup. The gray and the gold is different. I haven't really seen that on a new home, but I do like how it pops. Quartz countertop, hardware is amazing. You can see how that just really pops that gold. And then if you head over here, you have your gold shower head, handle and faucet there. And then also the, the tile in the back here. Um, this is gray tile with white. Uh, it looks like white trim, obviously. And so it doesn't go all the way to the top though. It goes about three quarters. So there's that. I do like, I mean, even to the towel rack, it has the gold trim or the gold hardware. And then you have your bath, uh, your uh, toilet paper handle as well has the gold. And looking from a different view, this is what you see here with the quartz countertop, undermounted sink, really big handles here. You can see that. Look at how big this is. These are really, really big handles. So let's see what this is. Okay, this is a linen's closet, you can see. So that's pretty neat. They have some wallpaper here. You can see that they've put on here too. And this is just giving you some ideas about what to do with this house. So the windows, real open windows here. And so let's go back over here. Here's the entryway again, 12 by 24 staggered tile. And here it looks like they have the Santa Fe style uh, texture that you can see on the walls. So again, going back over here, you can get a fourth uh, option for a bedroom. They have the lighting, really nice lighting here. Coming over here, you have like a flex room or a study room, if you want to call it. You can make this into an office, which I would probably do. I like that light fixture there. Um, but this is a nice area for if you just wanted to create an office, put a desk in here or do something with it. Because what they've done here, it looks like it's a, it's a separate area, maybe a second dining room area or a bigger dining area. I would convert it into a, probably into an office is what I would do. So let's go over here. Sun's starting to come down, but we're still at it, right? So I love the shaker cabinets. You have that, uh, huge handles. You, again, this is all huge handles. You got about a two inch crown at the top, GE appliances throughout, right? And so what they've done is they've done a real nice job, quartz countertop, undermounted sink there. I mean, pretty good size countertop. I'm gonna say my best estimation is about a four by four by seven on the size of this kitchen island. You got deep undermounted sink. I like how it's really curved out right there in the corner. You could see that. I like that pop better. And then you have your gooseneck with the extender there. And then here, You have your, uh, this is your dishwasher. And if you open this up, you can see, you even have an area that looks like for, looks like an area for uh, forks. So you can see what I'm seeing here. So we're just trying to give you the notes, right? The cliff notes, we call it. You got your micro top and your stove top, five burner, really nice five burner. And um, yeah, it's, it's just an upgrade. This is a really, Really good. This looks like the uh, retro style five burner by GE. So um, there's that. You got your dual ovens built in. So that's a really nice feature. These cabinets, 40, it looks like about 42 inch cabinets. And the backsplash. You got your hex style backsplash all the way throughout here as well. So you can see a, a lot of area of prep, not a ton, but it's a pretty good size kitchen. And I like how much, how much space is in between. Like if you're opening up that dishwasher, 
or somebody's cooking on the stove, you're not gonna bump into anybody. It's not gonna be an easy thing to do. It's a lot of room here. Let's go over here and take a look at the pantry. So here's your walk-in pantry. It's pretty good size, it's standard. Um, I've seen worse, I've seen better, you know? But it's good, you know, you could store some food here if you wanted to. Looks like they stored some paint right there, so uh, there you go. But I'm just giving you a view. This is an open floor plan, Richmond American Homes. You know, you have these light fixtures here, and you know, for me, I would probably do the, uh, the Lux lighting or probably a different style of lighting, maybe the recessed lighting. Uh, I do like the feature, the fixtures here, these, how they, how they're sitting. I'm not a fan of them. It's not something that, you know, I definitely would look at and say, I gotta have this in my kitchen. Um, I do like the recessed lighting better myself or the Lux lighting or a different style of lighting. So, um, let's go over here. Let's take a look at the dining area and we'll kind of take a view of the kitchen from a different angle. From over here, you can see there's the living area. And look at how much lighting is in here. That's what I love about these new homes is they really uh, make a, a big emphasis on lighting and trying to brighten up these homes, right? So really like what I see with this house. Let's go out and take a look at the Ultra RV Garage. And then we'll come back in if we can. Okay, so huge garage. They're gonna epoxy the ground here. Two bay garage right here, and then they have the RV parking here. They still have some work to be done on this house, but I'm telling you, it's a beautiful garage. I'd probably hang out here quite a bit. You have your panel there, and then over here, you have your uh, tankless water heater. Now it's set at 120. I think you can increase that if you wanted to, but I don't know if you'd really want to. One of the things I also like is, you know how you have to go out to the street, and a lot of times you have to pull up on, you know, to turn your water off. You gotta pull the cap off outside, right? Well, they have a shut off right here as well, which a lot of these new homes have as well. So I think that's, that's a really neat feature. So it looks like a smart hookup over here for an electrical car. So if you have an electric car, you can, it's already wired, you can get it set up, and you can start doing that. Um, that's it, this is a huge RV parking setup here. So, really like what I see here on this house. And this is different. I don't usually, I mean, I haven't, I've never been, maybe one other house, but it was an existing home that had a setup like this where they had the RV parking, but it wasn't even connected to the garage. It was connected, like it was like almost like a side RV parking setup. They have it actually set up with the garage, which is really different and unique. So I really like what they've done. And it, you know, every home has its thing, right? This is, that's that home. This is the home with the RV, ultra RV garage. That's the thing with this one that's so unique. So coming over here, cabinets, my best estimation I think is 42 inch cabinets, shaker cabinets. You have your undermounted sink, same consistency on the color, deep undermounted sink. You can see that. And this is really nice for anybody that's, you know, wanting a big laundry room, you know, GE appliances, I'll have to ask if the builder is if this is going to come with it. I'm not confirmed that that's going to come with the with the actual home, but they do have GE appliances. I'm sure that's everything's included in that one year bumper to bumper warranty in case something goes on. You'll have something, or the warranty will come in and help you fix some of these things. Right? Uh, here's your closet. So now we're off to the right. We just saw that huge RV Ultra Garage. Let's go out back. Let's take a look out back. So you have. Your uh, dual, it looks like your sliding glass door, almost French doors, they come, to, they come together here. Let's see if we can get outside. Okay, we can. Patio cover option. We're gonna find out if, you, if that comes with the house. I'm confident, I think it does, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna confirm that, but I will put it in the comment section. Obviously, these, this right here, which is your built-in barbecuer. Pavers will come with it, but maybe only until maybe right here. You know, if you want landscaping like this or you want any setup like this, this is a complete, uh, it's gonna have to be done by you, right? The owner or the new owner. Fire pit, fireplace here. Um, but a pretty good sized backyard. I'm not gonna, you know, I look at some of these new homes and at this price point out here in North Las Vegas or North area of Las Vegas, way north, right? About 20, 30 minutes north of the strip. 
you can't get much more of a home. I'm telling you right now, for a one story, really neat ideas as far as the backyard, what you can do with options on this backyard, and some of the things that you may be able to get from the builder's perspective. So I love this house, I really do. It's a really nice home. And I'll tell you what, a patio cover, especially in the summertime, you can't, you have to have it. It's almost like having an AC unit. You have to have a patio cover, in my opinion, to protect. If you go outside, you need that shield, right? It's the shield you're looking for. So let's go over to the primary bedroom. I'm gonna say about three inch on the uh, baseboards. So coming over here, again, carpet in the, in the primary bedroom. I'm gonna say 20 by 20, maybe 20 by five by 25. You got lighting throughout, right? You got a four pack here and then already wired with the ceiling fan. So huge ceiling, again, 10 foot ceilings walking into. And here you go. Now you have your hex style tile, quartz countertop, dual undermounted sink, and it uh, looks like the consistency, huge handles. I mean, those handles just pop, right? You got your towel rack there, even gold. Hardware is complete upgrade, including on the handles right here. That's an upgrade. So walking in here, I love this. Now here's your ultra shower. And we talked about this. Look at that dual shower head, tile, enclosure. Look at that shower enclosure. I mean, this is just, this is amazing. You know, you actually come in through here. Now, one thing about this is that it would be $10,000 roughly just to start off. That's not including this glass shower door and also the tile, which they've taken all the way to the top. You can see that there, but this is an upgrade. Now, if I'm buying a new home, is it, is it something I'm going to do? Yes, I am. Because I look at this and I see value and this just looks elegant to me. It pops. Dual, look at that dual shower head right there and that one that's hanging from the ceiling. I'm going to do it just like this because I feel if I'm going to go new, I'm going to go all in. You know, I'm going to do my best. You have some, looks like they have wallpaper here, huge eight foot door, and then just your toilet, right? Now over here you have shelving. Now this shelving is not going to come with the house. Now this shelving, this is, this could cost you $20,000, you know, 15, $20,000, maybe more. You know, I don't actually know the specs on that as far as, or the cost of that. Right there, there's your attic. Most of the time it is in your, your walk-in closet, but this is shelving. And this shelving, to get it like this with these gold and er like everything set up here with the gray, I mean, man, it's, it's, it's elegant, you know, but you're gonna be paying a premium for something like this. This could cost an extra 15, $20,000 to have these types of racks and this shelving and this storage and these drawers. So, and then, if you guys want to know, that's the company right there. So if you guys are looking to, and they got this Santa Fe uh, texture, you can see right here throughout the house. So uh, I can't get over the ultra shower, it's beautiful. And with this ultra shower, you can also see that these windows will come with that ultra shower. You're not gonna get that if you don't have that shower enclosure. That's another neat feature. I mean, imagine the sun coming in, you know, while you're taking a shower or whatever you're doing and just having that openness. I mean, you look at this too. I mean, the, the elegance with the pop of how the, uh, the handles and the, and the, the shower faucet head, I mean, the quartz countertop undermounted sink. I mean, this whole thing is just a really beautiful home. So let's head back out. That's pretty much it on this house. Again, this is the Damon and they're going to have the Deacon, right? The Deacon. So, um, Similar model, we're gonna take a look at that. All right, folks, so again, we're burning the midnight oil. I say it all the time, but we just saw the Damon and a um, lot to, to look at with the Damon. Again, I love the, the style behind me of how it looks and that RV, ultra RV garage. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions about anything with this house or any other home here in Las Vegas, I am your go-to realtor in Las Vegas. I love to uh, sit down and talk with you. We can go over a consultation, find out what's best for you. And uh, I can tell you, you know, a lot of people out there are saying, you know, huge incentives, things like that. You know, some, sometimes there is. I think we have to be real though and really get down to what the builder's offering. 
you need an agent that's not going to just say, hey, we're throwing a bunch, there's, everybody's throwing things out there and it's a great time to buy and, you know, call me. We don't know. I do know that everybody has their preference, their price, and also builders. They have certain things that they will give in incentives, certain things that are on a discount potentially, and certain things that are not. But it's really about getting the details with the builder and everybody coming together. And I want to be your realtor to do that. So if you guys have any questions, Show Vegas Realty. My name is Dan French. Subscribe, like the channel, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys at the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed this tour.